Well, good morning, everyone. I hope I'm finding everyone well and doing good. Um, I got some of my chores that I mentioned in an earlier video. I was able to get up there on the roof and I was able to get that like uh, moss, a green moss that was on the roof. I don't ever remember having that on that roof before, but also I was thinking last year was a really wet summer from about March to September, a lot of rain. And I was even getting some uh, mold or some mildew in my barn in the inside, which is very unusual. And I had sprayed it with a, a commercial, they call it a commercial vinegar, and that kills uh, mold and mildew, not just one or the other, but like bleach will kill one of them, but, but the uh, vinegar kills both, like mold and mildew spores. So I sprayed it the inside of the barn, and it never came back. It didn't come back at all this year. It got right down into the wood and killed it. So I think uh, what I did was I, I scraped all, took off very carefully any of the moss, the green moss that I saw on there, and then I sprayed the whole roof uh, with that vinegar. So that's a good job done. I also was on the back roof, the little flat back roof I was telling you about, and uh, swept that off, and there's an there's a air vent on that little roof, so I just made sure I put some sealer around it that it wouldn't have any problems this winter. And then I got on my barn roof too, and I got, uh, I had a small leak in there, and then when I was on the barn roof, I saw a limb had fallen and just made a crack in the fiberglass on top. That roof is, is about, maybe two-thirds um, wood and a third uh, fiberglass, so it made a crack, so I sealed that up, and that's okay, so I should be all set in the barn. So I got those extra tasks done, so uh, that was a wonderful thing to be able to get that done. And then what I'm doing over here, as I'm getting more and more of my uh, uh, manure from the goats, I just cut down all the flowers that were dried out and passed away, the green ones I left, so that the energy can go back to the roots. And then I took some of my uh, goat bedding and just put that here. So for the next seven months or so, um, until things start coming up again, because we're in November, December, January, March, April, May, June. Well, it'd be before that, maybe May or so. Uh, you know, I have a lot of um, wild violets that come up here and it covers, it's like a cover crop. It just covers everything. So this would be pretty much covered by the violets. Then the other flowers grow out. So I got that, you know, cut down, got all the leaves out of there and put the bedding down. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Uh, when I have time, I'm going to cut this back, all the, the um, you know, the, the dead stuff, rake it out, and I'm going to put uh, some of that goat bedding in here. Uh, maybe a little bit back there, too, where the uh, rhododendron is and the, uh, what's that plant called? Azalea plant. Um, do that. And i got to do it over here, too. So... I've got to do that, so we are gonna. I'm gonna fix that up, rake, rake those leaves out, and then put some of that bedding down. Anything that I have, like that little strawberry patch back here, I'm gonna do it too. And also my roses and my um, what do they call these things? Lilies, lilies over here. So I gotta cut back anything that's dried out now. You have to. They say let it dry out. The green, don't cut the green down. Let it go back. You know, fall back and die, so all the nutrients go back to the bulbs and the roots. I'm going to do that over here, too. Um, so, doing pretty good. I got my garden area all done. That's all set for, for next year. I think I showed you that already, but I got that done with the uh, the goat bedding. That's all set for next year. Covered these strawberries up. We were able to eat the red ones that were there, but I don't know if we're going to... It's 28 this morning, so I'm not too sure. I mean, they might, they're probably going to be okay, but uh, I don't know if they'll ever... These are the last ones now will ever really turn red, you know. They say once you pick them, you can't, they won't turn red like a tomato does when you pick a green. And in here, I cut back all the raspberry bushes. Um, some people say for raspberry, cut it right down to the ground. Um, I didn't want to quite do that this time, so I'm just going to, I just cut it back, and we'll see what happens. Uh, it's, going to sh it's going to spring out new shoots anyway, so new raspberry uh, growth will come from the root and and it, these stalks will grow new. I just want to see if the old ones are going to do anything. So off, a lot of raspberries will blossom one year, and then they don't blossom on the same stalk the next year. So you cut that down. So we'll kind of see on that. Uh, usually on the on the uh, grapes, you just cut back. Uh, every year you're going to get some new growth, and the new growth, you probably cut it back to about three or four buds, and then you'll, you'll start getting some new grapes next year. So it's all kind of cool. Um, my pear tree did really well this year, had about 15 pears and some little critter took them all. So within two days, once I realized, hey, some of my pears are gone, I have a few left, but then it took everything. So next year I'm going to put a little fence up, try to 
connect somehow this part, you know, to this part. So this little critter can't get in there. I think he's a little uh, groundhog that we've seen around. So, um, oh, somebody's squealing their tires this morning. Okay, that can happen, especially if you're turning a corner. Uh, okay, so that's pretty good. So, wanted to come out here and just give you a little update. So, over here, we, uh, of course, the, uh, we had our chimney. No, yeah, you already know the chimney was repaired uh, this year. But also, what I did was I cleaned out just, just a real quick, uh, you know, raking of the leaves. Um, to, to get the bit bulk of the leaves out of there. And then I cleared all of this out. I just got my pots and things under the um, flower pots and stuff under the under the uh, wheelbarrow. But we had our uh, septic pumped up this year. So we do it every two years. It's a smaller tank. And um, Zach was a huge help to me to, to, to get in here and to dig it out with me. It would have taken me a much longer time uh, by myself, but he was here. So we got that all digged out, pumped out. The septic guy said it's an old tank, but it's doing good. So we're happy about that. Put the little cage back there. Try to clean up a little bit around here. Um, gee, November 3rd, everybody. It's going by so fast. And uh, all that tall, beautiful jewel weed that we just love looking at <laughs> with the beautiful, beautiful orange flowers. It's all gone now and resting and be up again next year. Um, so everything's, everything's doing pretty good. Not too bad. It's 28 this morning, kind of cold. But, um, you know, we're getting there. I can't believe it's the 3rd of November, so uh, it's going to be a good month. It's going to be a good fall for a lot of people. For a lot of us, it's going to be a good fall. Keep on looking for the good things, you know. Keep on looking for the good things and focus on that. So I just want to come up this morning. It's kind of cold, so I'm, i got to wash my winter jackets, too. I have a couple of winter jackets in the cellar. i got to get them washed, so I'll be able to put them on nice and clean. Because uh, it's going to need them now. Oh, Luna's here! <laughs> Luna! He's been gone for a few... Where are you, Luna? Where are you? Hold on. He's been gone for... Where is he? Hold on, Luna. I lost you. There you are. He's been gone for a few days. I got the sun right in my eyes, so it's hard to see him. He's been gone on an adventure, and now he's come back. He's going to want his breakfast, so I'll go feed him. And we had some nice uh, fire pit there. We burnt and had put a lot of the ashes for the chickens. The chickens like to eat the ashes. Hi, baby. I'm coming. And rolling it, and the the the, um, the ash is good for deworming, you know, and also any parasites on the skin and stuff like that. So the chickens enjoy that, and the goats like to get in here and eat the ash too. Okay, Luna, I'm coming. Let me go get your food. Okay, I didn't bring any food out. I thought you were still on your adventure. Yes, I'm coming. He says, feed me quick. Okay, I'll be right back, Luna. <laughs> so hope, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll catch you all up a little bit later. And uh, God bless you, and thanks for dropping by. Talk to you later. Well, guys, could you believe it? Um, it's like 4.30, and look how dark it's getting. <laughs> well, you can't maybe tell by the camera, but it is getting darker. But I wanted to show you. I remember I had mentioned I had put some uh, goat manure on this side, and then today I just finished this one here. So I just wanted to put this at the end of my video. So I did get this one done. So it's all set, and uh, all those nutrients can go back to the earth and, and uh, you know, make the next growth come up nice and strong. Uh, so I had noticed last year I had some uh, John quills over here. Just a couple of John quills. They haven't come out for years and years. They're behind these little bricks. I had some John quills in here. They hadn't come out for a number of years. And I had put some goat manure on there. And then uh, they, they came up the next year and they flowered. So, I mean, they come up and they stay green. They didn't have any flowers on them. And that goat manure, I mean, must be it because I hadn't done that before. Uh, you know, they were just coming up and I wasn't doing too much to them. And suddenly... After putting the manure on, the next uh, season has some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, John quills. Hi, boys. Ready to have your breakfast? Not breakfast, supper. It's, yeah, ready to, ready to have supper? Yes, I'm a little chilly, ready to go in. All the girls are waiting for their millie worms, and Luna's over there. He wants something to eat. And it's getting a little chilly. And I can see a little bit of pink. I don't think you can pick up on that. A little bit of pink in the sky. So hopefully we have a nice day tomorrow. And the sun's already gone down over there. Can't see the sun anymore, but just the light, you know, from the sun. Okay, so I just want to put this in at the end of my video. Okay, guys, love you. Chat with you later.